right? Frank Zappa. Don't eat yellow. Don't eat yellow snow. Sweet. But sweet as in like a wrong. Um, this is actually loose. For some reason, I thought I'd done this. And then I checked my playlist and I couldn't see it in there. And I was thinking, really? I, I was sure that I'd done this. Um, but yeah, I hadn't. So Frank Zappa, don't eat the yellow snow sweet. But yeah, so let's go. Because I don't know, that's the other thing. I don't know why I wouldn't have picked this one first. Because I do know, I like a funny title. I don't know why I wouldn't have done this one. But, and it was the top of the list. Maybe I just scrolled past it and got carried away. But this is dark, so it's a Patreon. But yeah, let's go. I was an Eskimo. <laughs> Frozen wind began to blow. Under my boots and around my toe. Frost that bit the ground below. This is honestly like rush. With the different, the switching up. I know he likes that as well. And they are very similar, very different as well, but very similar in in how kind of out there they are with their structure in Zappa and Rush. Rush have a lot of very out there um, structures, but uh, <clears throat> it kind of sounds like that, how Rush does that, how it's like they don't let you kind of rest on, because this is kind of going from the the quicker beat into the slower one from like eat from one bar to the next. But yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah. It was a hundred degrees below zero. And my mama <laughs> cried. <laughs> and my mama cried. Your money don't go to the show. <laughs> See what I mean? It's so much. Around the night, said, Oh, oh, oh. Well, I turned around and I said, Oh, oh, oh. Well, I turned. That was fire and very subtle. How it kind of went out but didn't sound like it, if that makes sense. Is that definitely he slowed that down, but it just felt like it was keeping the same. Anybody else catch that? That was very... Do you see what I mean, though? With Zappa, now obviously I'm guessing... Well, I don't know. I don't know when Zappa started, really. I don't know whether he was 60s. But to be fair, I always think Russia are a more modern band, but there was around, what, 74, I think, their first album? So there could have been, like, some crossover between these two but it just has a very rush feel definitely and even in terms of how to drum that kind that drum beat with the um the hi-hat because <clears throat> um, arctic monkeys drummer he he loves that drum beat too um but such a funky rhythm and a great story this is like yeah and my mother cried oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey let's go Round. And I said, ho, oh, oh. ho, and the northern light commenced to glow. And she said, oh, oh, dear, with a tear in her eye. Watch out where the huskies go, don't you eat that yellow snow. Watch out where the huskies go, don't you eat that yellow snow. 
right about that time, people. A fur trapper who was strictly from commercial. <laughs> Had the unmitigated audacity to jump up from behind my igloo. Igloo. <laughs> and he started in the whipping on my favorite baby seal. With a lead-filled snowshoe. I said, oh, with a lead. <laughs> a lead-filled snowshoe. He said, peekaboo. With a lead, with a lead built snowshoe, he said peekaboo. He went right upside the head of my favorite baby seal. He went whap with a lead built snowshoe and hit him on the nose and he hit him on the fin and he. <laughs> that got me just about as evil as an Eskimo boy can be. So I bent down and I reached down and I scooped down and I gathered up a generous mitten full of the dead lead. Yellow snow. <laughs> the deadly cold. yellow snow from right there where the huskies go. Whereupon I proceeded to take that mitten full of the deadly yellow snow crystals and rub it all into his beady little eyes with a vigorous circular motion hitherto unknown to the people in this area, but destined to take the place of the mud shark in your mythology. Here it goes now, the circular motion. Rub it. His guitar on this, the sound of that guitar as well. I gotta say, this tune is actually fire, like musically. I mean, it always is with him. And it's funny musically, like it has just funny, um, it's more how he's putting it together, which is kind of making it comical. But um, yeah, this is a tune, like musically, and it's just jokes, but musically this is like, this could be one of my favourites. I don't know why I didn't do this one sooner. And it, especially from the title, I don't know why I didn't. Maybe I just assumed it would have been one I'd already done. But I was stunned when I saw I hadn't done this. And it's fucking fire. Yeah. Wait, let's go. And then in a fit of anger, I... I pounced. And I pounced again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've listened to too much Zappa now. Because there's two things in this song I knew was coming next. I've definitely listened to too much Zappa at this point. Already. And I've like I've not even hit a hundred tracks of him yet, I don't think. And yeah. I'm starting to learn him it, at this point. After all this time, I'm finally like, and only on this track, like, because it's 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 of that ilk of his track, like the the comedy one, where it's not it's not. I mean, it is out there musically, but it's not as out there as some of his other like. Um, what was the one Inca Road? Inca's Road, something like that. Um, I mean, that track was musical madness. This isn't that. This is definitely easier to follow musically. But, but yeah, I've actually picked up on and kind of I'm getting the, I'm I'm on like kind of starting to understand him at this point, like a bit. Like I've, I'm probably at like level one now in terms of a Zappa fan. In terms of like. My, my kind of knowledge of him. But yeah, let's go. <laughs> 